that's how I started. Then he told me, actually, Shalini, you can do this yourself. You don't have to be in my music and everything. So that's how I started. And I also used to sing in church. Yeah. Interesting. You see, this is something very interesting. I also started in church. <laughs> so there's Which always church? <laughs> church Gani. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. Church Gani Buddha. Sema church. Sema church. Sema church. Church of no nonsense. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. So. <laughs> You're from a humble home. Yeah. <laughs> humble family. Welcome to the show, by the way. Once Thank you again. so much. So, me, I want to know. Before, before now, uh, the, the song that you perform, Murder, right? Mm -hmm. You did that, uh, like, it's one year ago, right? That was released when? One year ago. Yeah, one year ago. Uh -huh. And now you have the new one, No One. Yes. So, before you singing now, starting to sing, you've been doing a bit of vixening yeah. in music. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite one, Kamati Aroho Chafu. Yeah! <laughs> By Bien and Willie Paul. Pose. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. I want to know, how do you like uh, you starting your career? Because knowing as a vixen, there's a bit of difficulty because you've had, of course, a lot of ladies complaining. Some don't get paid. Some get paid a little bit of money. You getting into the vixen kind of a thing before now, venturing into being an artist. How was it for you? Okay. Starting was very hard because of finances. And actually, most artists don't pay vixens a lot of money. Uh -huh. But you just tell yourself that you can't stop. My goals used to push me. My goals used to motivate me. Okay. And I knew, like, Vixening has put me where I am today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, through Vixening, I got to go to America. Mm -hmm. And through Vixening, I've bought a house. Ish. Yes. <laughs> goja, 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 goja. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, bought, your, you bought a house, Ile Beziet? How many Bezing? Ile Beziet. Ile Beziet. Vixening has given you a lot of money and now you're getting into the music industry. In the music industry, Pia, where? Una it's, not easy. it's not easy. Yeah. So have you dropped Vixening completely or you're still going to be doing that as you pursue your music career? Okay, I'm planning to, do, to continue doing Vixening because it's giving me some kind of exposure. Recently, I did Vixening for Wakadinali. If you follow me, you'll see like, mm -hmm. I put on my stories, the song will come out soon, I think. Ah, and yeah. I also did another Vixening for Red Sun. Yeah. Legend. So I'll still be Vixening. I'm forever a Vixen. Hey, shout out. You know. said you went to... Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All right, you said you went to America. Yeah. Because of Vixening. So, does it mean, uh, are you like into a music video in America for an artist? And if yes, who is the artist? I'm sweating. Uh, Isa, Isa. <laughs> it's okay. Can I ask for my fan? Uh -huh. So, I want to know, like you, going to America, were you like uh, being approached by an artist in America to come and perform or something? Or how, how, how did it, like you, like you said, it's vixening, so definitely that is music or something. Okay. I want to know more of that. I got approached by... Uh, what are they called? Public people who host events. So they ah, invited yeah. me. Uh -huh. Okay, the person is called Vinzego High Society Africa. Shout out. Hey. So they called me out there mm -hmm. to perform at Night Boys event uh -huh, uh -huh. in America. Okay. And then after I performed there, so they liked and they continued. Of course, to they have me. to like. Yeah, they have to. <laughs> they, it's they, a no brainer. Yeah, like, <laughs> come on. Uh -huh. So yeah. they continued calling me for more of their shows mm -hmm. and they also called me to host in their in upcoming artists in america uh -huh. so yeah. it's a struggle to be honest it's not easy yes but i'm still trying to just get build that gap uh -huh. that is there between africa and america right? ah, so charlene you've of course explored the outside Europe, I mean, and you have seen how their creative economy is well structured, how they make more money, and you still came back to Kenya. So I want to know, what is it that you think should be implemented in our creative space to make it way better? Okay, I think if there would be more collaborations, you see like the way that video of DJ Khalid, like artists from different sectors, models, photographers, yeah. videographers, if they could just come together and do more projects together, mm -hmm. it would put us at a different space. Mm -hmm. It's just that even in America, most Kenyans are not 
united as much as uh-huh. I would say that uh-huh. that's that was my personal yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so most Kenyans are not like united so if there would be that unity among artists different kinds of artists would go very far Wow. Oh, That's yeah. good. Shalin, there's a super fan. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It's been forever. <laughs> yes, I remember you. Yeah. So, um, let's talk about Club COVID. <laughs> the deeps. Epic. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> uh, Nina, <laughs> too, very simple. Okay. So, um, what would you say how that experience was? Just evil to how how this idea, idea. Very simple question. Okay, honestly, kuna parts zenye nilisaidia na kuna parts zenye haiziku nisaidia. First of all, I created a space. I would, and I would like to talk to ladies. Oh, sorry. Because <laughs> I was talking to you. So, I created a space where um, it was not really good for everybody. It was not really good for everybody. And I would like to tell ladies, whatever you put out there, just know people are watching. Don't put yourself out there. Right now, I regret... Okay, I got opportunities, yes, but I regret all those things that I put out did. there. It's so hard to correct your image right now. So, if you can learn from me, please learn and don't put yourself out there that much. You can just put yourself out there in a decent way and people will still be able to watch you. Wisdom from an incredible lady. What people are doing? Last thing, yeah. you're a content creator. And there's this thing going on, 15%, the tax thing. Yeah. According to you, what do you think? Is it right? Is it wrong? Should they reduce? Should they remove it? Nyambi, according to your views. Honestly, now that I've moved to America, uh-huh. can I just be honest? Go honest. Yeah. Roho. <laughs> just say. This is a small, like, it's a small thing. It's okay. not supposed to... Such a thing is not supposed to be bugging Kenyans uh-huh. like that. Yeah. Maybe we should look at how the roads, like the stru- how the structures are, first of all, before moving into taxing these artists. It's yeah. so hard. Yeah. Whatever work that artists put in is, is a lot, mm. and there's a lot of struggles. So to be honest, if the government could just... I don't agree with it. Ah, sure. So you wanna say ma itolewe, like let it be out. All right. Yeah. That's of good. course, um Shali, there are highs and there are lows in yeah. every career. So we embrace that. You're such an inspiration to so many young ladies. Thank you. And for some who've just had your story and would love to know where can they follow you, where can they interact with your content, please give them your social handles and also where they can stream your music. Okay. So on Instagram I go by the name Shalene Anyango Star, on Facebook, on Twitter and all my social media pr- platforms, I go by the name Shalina Nyangosta. Yes. All right, you remember the hashtag is straight up live and our WhatsApp number is 0759434389. DJ. Let us listen to the latest song, No One. Yay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs>